How's it going guys? My name is Virtual Gorilla and today we're going to be playing Watch Dogs 2. I've been looking forward to this game for such a long time. I absolutely love the first Watch Dogs. Very looking forward to this. I've actually played a little bit just to get like, you know, a deal of the controls and whatever. And it seems amazing so far. And I want to share the rest of this journey with you guys. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I had exams. I just finished. Now's a good time to relax and pump out some videos. Also, I know this isn't FIFA or football content, but you know, stick around. This is a great game. Hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and start a new game. CTOS Server Farm San Francisco. This game does look pretty beautiful as well. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit, and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep running. So basically, way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. So, so we got some nice background music. That's good. So basically, I think what's going on is uh, we have to break into the CTOS database and erase our files from the server. Our character's name is Marcus, but um, his alias is Retro, which is pretty cool, with a zero. Now this guy's absolutely spastic because he didn't see me. We get to beat the shit out of him. We've got a little, got a stun gun. It's nice. So with this view, actually, I'm able to see people through walls and uh, highlight their location for a while. As you can see, I can still see them there. The controls are a little bit weird. With the left analog stick, you have to push it down to sprint, and um. Like, R2 is to do parkour over stuff, you know. X is to hide behind things. Surprise, motherfucker! Hello. That's one guy asleep. Let's go get this dude over here. Let's bash him. Go! I think our weapon's like a yo-yo? What is that? It's... Like a ball thing on the end of a rope. It's an interesting choice of weapon, I have to admit. It wouldn't be my first choice. Basically, I have to just get up there and uh, to unlock this door because it's locked from some power box. I really do think that the music sets a scene in this game very well. I, I like how they use it. And you can see right there, that guy's just... That must mean that we killed the other two guys. But yeah, you can see, he's still asleep because we only shot him with the stun gun. Oh, <laughs> that's just friggin' awesome. That's just showboating right there. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems is why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? So Marcus is a pretty nifty hacker, eh? That's just brutal. We can see cameras through walls, which I don't know. I feel like it would be better if you had to physically be able to see the cameras in order to control them, but it is what it is. 
hack this computer in order to open up this door right here. Is there anything in this room? No? Okay. So I meant to get up to the top of this middle platform in here. Uh, I did not want to open up that door. So there's a guard right there. Yeah. Oh, he almost saw me. You have to be pretty stupid to see a figure just crouch across and just be like, Oh yeah, nah, it was nothing. Hack to gain access, what's here? So basically CTOS is like a huge network which has the data of every single individual it's also used for evil, you know, like, it can never be that safe having that much information at one organization disposal. Then again, look at Facebook, they have pretty much everyone's information there. Facebook could actually be, oh shit, someone sees me. Oh yeah, don't, don't mind me, I'm just strangling this guy to death. No worries, mate. Which way is he facing? Looking away. Oh shit. This guy sees something. No, 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 damn it. They've spotted me, so now they're gonna come after me. Pew! I don't, I don't exactly want to kill people, because I feel like these guys are just security guards. It's not like they have. It's just their job. Oh, shit, shit, shit. These guys are just security guards, you know. It's not like they control this organization or anything. So I don't really want to kill them. I feel like as a hacker, women, as a hacktivist rather, our aim is to help society as opposed to, you know, kill everybody who just gets in our way. These guys are just doing their jobs. They're protecting this uh, server room, you know. Apart from the ones we've killed, I don't feel like we should murder people. I just feel like it's not in our code. We're good people. At least, that's how it's made out to be. It's made out to be that DeadSec and their hackers are good people. Holy shit! He went for it. Oh no, I can't go across there. So now they're waking up. I shoot him. <laughs> So I think when others wake up, they can also wake up people who are uh, passed out. Which is pretty cool, instead of just like leaving them on the floor, they try to get them up. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least That's a bit of a drop. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Alright, so I have to get in there. This is like the secret cow level. So I think they've woken up. Or a few of them have anyway. Will anyone see me? YOLO! Alright, cool, nobody saw me. So what I'm meant to do? I'm meant to hack this. Alright, we get a little puzzle. I love Ubisoft for this. For the little puzzles and stuff that they put in their games. And I also really... A, a lot of people don't enjoy it, but I like... Finding all the hidden stuff that they put in the game and all the collectibles. I don't know, I just love Ubisoft for that. I know other people don't. Like with Assassin's Creed, how you have to get all the watchtowers to unlock the areas. I love doing that stuff. They're always like one of the first things I do, but you know, it's not some people's things and I respect that. What the fuck? Why is my threat so loud? Marcus Holloway, 24, male, born in Los Angeles, California. 
apparently no salary record, so he's never had a job. This is bullshit. Anime hardcore purple elf noodle. That must be like Google noodle. How's that a criminal search? So Bloom are considering searches for CQS exploits and DeadSec as criminal. That's interesting too. Oh no, maybe this is his criminal record. Maybe the other stuff was just information about him. And that's actually his criminal record there. I was gonna say... You know, having a criminal record for him searching some interesting uh, pornographic things. You know, that's a bit outrageous. Yes, I want to delete my profile. Right here on my profile. So is this who we want to be now? This guy looks a bit like Chris Dowtry. Occupation, genius IQ. I don't think that's an occupation. How's that an occupation? He gets paid to only drink water. <laughs> you were definitely going for this one. Marcus Holloway, you are now 26 year old prostitute. gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, oh nice. We've got unfinished Dropping business. Trojans into the CTOS. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. So this is just teaching us how to use these things. So let's set a force field here and pull him in. When he walks into that, boom, he's asleep. I have to wait until my battery down the bottom right recharges before I can do some of these. Alright, I just have to run down the stairs pretty quickly. Is anybody down here? There's one guy there. Two guys here. Shh, go to sleep. Oh no, I wasn't meant to lock it. Oh no, 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 they see me. Shit. Run! Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest, run! Down here, I th this is where we came from. Oh, open up. Hardcore parkour! Parkour! Hardcore parkour! Parkour! Jump over, jump over the camera! Jump over the camera! Reinforcements are being called. Let's get out. Why can't I open this? Why can't I open this door? Open! Oh no, I can't even... Wait, am I... I've just been running the wrong way. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Shit, okay, I'm meant to go over there. So I was meant to escape through here. So apparently he couldn't see me through the little glass uh, panel here. They're blind and dumb. Extreme! Parkour! Parkour! Grenade! Move! Bloody hell, maybe I'm the dumb one. Jump down. Let's go! Go Johnny, go, go, go! Hello boys! In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many so this is sort of telling um, smart city development. what happened in wrong. Watch Dogs 1 when Aiden shut down CTOS and blacked out the city. CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now... I really did love the story in Watch Dogs 1 and, and the whole thing with his niece and everything. Like, and it was such a good story. It's such a good game. I don't understand why it got so much hate, to be honest. It was very hyped, yeah, but... 
I don't know, a lot of people feel like it didn't live up to the hype, but I actually loved it so much. Building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys, study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So? Interesting attire. Am I in? High socks, short shorts, and a jumper. Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, aka Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? <laughs> it's the crew, huh? Oh, that's so typical. Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother. All rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, that's... Fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what... What Bloom's up to, man? Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. Marcus is definitely an emotional drunk. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed a back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. <laughs> hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I got it. I got it. Uh, late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. Party. Did you do something to the phone? Fucking this Fuck you, Bloom. Well, no, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Definitely an emotional drunk. Either way, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share the video with your friends, subscribe if you're new here. 
and I'll see you all next time. Bye, have a beautiful time.